Okay, so to bisect an angle there, we need a couple of things. We need a pencil. We need a pair of compasses. With, as you can see, I've got a little pencil here. You'll also notice that my pencils are sharp, okay? That creates that accurate line that we're going to be drawing. Makes things a lot easier for you, especially when we're using this compass, or as it should be called, a, a pair of compasses. Just to recap, you'll notice that the grip is at the top, okay? That means that it's telling you where your fingers and thumbs should be at all times, okay? I've also got a ruler and a rubber and a sharpener just in case if I need it, okay? So we need to bisect an angle. So here's my angle. I've got an acute angle first, okay? Acute angle, less than 90 degrees. And we need to bisect it. So to bisect means to chop in half. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to have a fixed width of our pair of compasses, okay? Uh, I've made sure that the screw is all tightened up and this make, makes sure that the legs won't wobble and it'll stay accurate at all times. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the sharp point on the mouse's nose, okay, on this vertex here, okay. Now, as I'm right-handed, I'm going to make sure that the sharp point is on there, and I'm going to use my right hand because I feel like I've got more control. What I'm going to do, I'm going to rotate and intercept through the two lines that make up the angle, okay, at the same fixed width of uh, the pair of compasses here. Sharp point on the mouse's nose, rotate through both of those. Keeping this as it is, I'm then going to put my pair of compasses and the sharp point on my new cross I have there and draw an arc in the middle of the angle. Okay, I'm going to repeat that from the other side. I'm going to put my sharp point on that point there. I'm going to rotate to intercept the previous arc that I drew. And I've now got this little cross here. Now, using my ruler and a pencil, I'm going to join up from here all the way down to the mouse's nose of my acute angle. Okay, so that means it is now bisected. That is a, as a bisector of an angle. You can see both of these sides, uh, size angles are the same, okay? So if I put some numbers here, so that's where my sharp point of the compass went to start off with. I then rotated here, and then my sharp point moved onto here to draw this one, and then moved here to draw that one. Okay, so I've just put that there, just so you can see which order I went in in order to create that. Obviously, I could extend this angle through as well. That's an acute angle. Obtuse angle is exactly the same, okay? So this time, I've got my compass, or my pair of compasses, should I say. I've got sharp point where the two lines meet. If it was an acute angle, then it would be the mouse's nose. I'm going to intercept through that line, intercept through that line. Now we know roughly this line is going to be around here. Okay, so I'm going to put my sharp point now on that little cross. I'm going to draw an arc in roughly the middle of the angle. I'm then going to put my sharp point on the other side, okay, here, and then I'm going to rotate through there. Okay, so you can clearly see now, this point here is the middle of that angle. Then I'm going to use my ruler at this point here, and then rotate it, or draw the line, all the way down. So you can see now, this line is smack in the middle, of this angle, so we have bisected it, okay? Now, when we're using this compass, okay, or the pair of compasses, it does take a bit of practice, okay? You have to make sure that the weight goes on the on the sharp bit, and it's just practice, 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 okay? I see it so often where pupils are rotating the page, um, and they're like touching their legs and using two hands. You see there, because I've practiced so much, I'm able to use just a finger and thumb and just the idea of twisting it. Get yourself a blank piece of paper, draw some circles, twist it, get familiar, get confident using this pair of compasses, and then things will be a lot easier for you. So some steps then. Okay, so open compass to a fixed width. Yes, I should have theoretically said a pair of compasses, but you know what I mean when I use a big compass. The sharp point on the vertex, I've put here nose, okay? So on that mouse's nose. 
intercept both of the lines, okay? Draw a little bit of crosses on each line of the angle. Use step three then, so this previous one here, to put the sharp point on. Once you've got the sharp point on there, you can then draw your arcs in the middle of the angle. Once you've got that cross, then you can join that with the vertex, which is the nose of the angle. Okay, have a good go. It takes a lot of practice, as I say, but per persevere.